Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a uh, presentation on NCES problem number 12. Uh, this particular problem is on combined loading, so uh, let's get started. Okay, the NCES solution begins with an equation that has been a source of a great many questions and, uh, and confusion by previous participants as to where does it come from. So this presentation is going to show you how this equation comes to define the problem. Okay, basically the statement of the problem is you've got a steel bar, it's fixed at one end on the left and is acted upon by a linear spring at its other end as shown. The spring is confined between the bar, uh, which uh, that end of it is allowed to move in a, in a fixed surface on the right. The temperature of the bar is increased 300 degrees F. Question is, determine the increase in the force produced in the bar. Uh, the area of the bar is given to you is 0.375 inches squared. Its modulus of elasticity is 30 times 10 to the 6 psi. Coefficient of thermal expansion alpha, 6 times 10 to the minus 6 inches per inch per degree F. And the spring constant is uh, 10,000 pounds per inch. The bar is uh, starts off as 3 feet long. Okay, if we use the notation in the NCS solution, the increase in the force in the bar will, will equal, uh, be equal to the increase in the force from the spring acting on the bar. That's just Newton's third law. So what you have is F in the bar has got to equal F in the spring. The spring is K delta S, where delta S is the change in the length of the spring. However, what is not made clear in the solution is that this must also be the change in the length of the bar. So therefore what happens is the temperature increase of the bar causes it to get longer, which compresses the spring, increasing the spring force, which in turn increases the force on the bar, which causes the bar to get shorter. <laughs> you want me to say that one again, right? Uh, yeah, the temperature makes the bar get longer, that compresses the spring, that increases the force back onto the bar, which then causes it to get shorter than it would um, if it was free to just uh, under the 300 degrees F. So that's, that's the piece that's kind of missing. Took a while to come to that, but that's, that's, that's where this heads. So the increase in the length of the bar just due to the temperature increase is given by the uh, equation uh, epsilon temp times L. Now to use the notation in the uh, NCS solution, that's alpha delta T times that kind of script L. Not really fond of it, but that's what they use. And then the decrease in the length of the bar due to the increased force in the spring, because the bar's got longer, so the spring's uh, gotten shorter, so it's got more force, is uh, PL, the axial loading equation, PL over AE. In this case, uh, the F, uh, the force in the spring of the bar, times the script L over AE. And we can substitute that K delta S for the F. And so we get that term there on the right, K delta S, L over AE as our delta axial. Now, equating the change in length of the spring to the change in the length of the bar gives uh, a rearranged form of this first equation that you see in the NCS solution. The delta S is the alpha delta TL is how much it gets longer, and then the minus K delta S L over AE is how much it gets shorter because the force in the spring has increased. Okay, so we can now rearrange this equation. We can pull the uh, delta S term on the right uh, uh, to the left. So we've got a delta S plus a KL over AE times delta S equals our alpha delta TL. And we can then um, uh, collect terms. Uh, we have a 1 plus KL over AE. Divide through and you get the equation that you see uh, on the right. Delta S is alpha delta TL over 1 plus KL time, uh, divided by AE. And that's the one where, where did that come from? Where did that come from? Well, it's, uh, uh, I think we've now uh, made that clear. 
So then uh, all that's left to do is to put in the known value and constants uh, to get the net change in length of the spring. Uh, the, uh, unfortunately, the uh, solution, NCES solution, doesn't, isn't really vigilant on units, so we got to make sure of all of that. we got the 6 times 10 to the 6th inch per inch per degree F um, times 300 F. That's canceled. we got 36 inches. There's where our units are going to come from. 1 plus uh, KL over AE. Well, we We've got uh, pounds per uh, pounds per inch times inch, so that gives you pounds. And then in the denominator, you've got 0.375 inches squared times pounds per inch squared, so that gives you pounds. So so that's uh, a non-dimensional. So yes, we will get inches, and uh, I get 0.0628 rounded to that uh, value. So then the actual change in length of the bar is the change in the, the force in the spring. Force in the bar is the, equal to the force in the spring. That's K delta S. So 10,000 times uh, 0 0.0628 gives you 628. And uh, while answer C is 624, closest, uh, you know, most nearly is a word that is used a lot in the um, statement of uh, NCS problems, that becomes answer C. Okay, but uh, this this is the equation that's uh, presented, and uh, uh, it was not it's not uh, was not very clear where where that came from. And I hope this has been a help. Okay, well that concludes the uh, presentation. As always, we uh, appreciate you allowing us to help you uh, prepare for this exam.